Okay, well, good afternoon. I'm Dr. Nancy Stanley, physical therapist, life and health coach, and I'm here with my dear friend, Deborah, Deborah Campbell. Campbell. <laughs> yeah, and I'm in, in her beautiful home, and uh, she agreed to do this interview. And the reason people agree to do these interviews is because they know the pain that they felt struggling with dieting and weight, and if if they can help somebody else, they want to. And so uh, that's why I'm here. Deborah's agreed to do it. And so what we're going to start with, so uh, when I came to see Deborah, she called me. She'd been watching my videos a couple that's of right. years. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this oh, three and a half years, okay? And, um, you know, I'm sure like everybody else, she thought, can I do it? Is Am I going to have another failure? And so... What I don't want for you is another failure because one more failure may be you saying, I'm done. I'm just going to, this is just how I am. I can't change it. But Deborah latched on and she started 80 days ago. We're in the last 10 days of this challenge. And um, she started. And one of the things I remember that kind of, you know, I always am listening, really listening to what my clients are saying. And she talked about her sleep, that she didn't sleep. She never slept. She was up a lot. So she's going to mention that today because sleep is, is, is an important part of being healthy. It's when your brain rejuvenates. It's when your body rejuvenates. And so, hey, Debbie. I see Debbie Banks is on here. Let's see who else. There's Lisa. Lisa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, <laughs> good to see y'all. There's about seven. For some reason, I don't get to see all the names. But, okay. So I'm just going to let... Deborah starts. She's going to talk about where she was, where she is now, and what she's looking forward to in the future. All right. Well, I'm so thankful for Nancy. And um, one thing in the beginning, um, I had I, I was kind of grazing all day long, and um, getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I knew I needed to change, but I didn't have it in me to change. And I saw what Nancy was doing on her videos and. And I thought I would try it, but it took a big step just to call her. And I really wanted to call her and say, let's cancel, you know, but I went ahead with it, but I wasn't in it full force. I, I had to work on myself because um, I had tried everything before. I had tried diets before with, uh, you know, years ago, everybody went and got the, those diet pills oh, and yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, uh, and I had tried the high protein diet before and... I lost a lot of weight with that in just two months' time, but I gained even more back because I ate nothing but meat and lettuce and meat and cabbage and, and lost half my hair. And so <laughs> I'm like, um, but I knew my body would lose weight with high protein and cutting out the carbs. Yeah. And I had experience before with no carbs. Cutting out my carbs, I felt better in the mornings when I woke up. I wasn't dragging and having to push myself all the time. So with this this keto program with that um, Nancy has introduced, it it's a healthy way to eat. And as I've gotten older, and my doctor has looked at my blood levels and everything, he says you need to cut out those carbs. You've got to cut out those carbs. And I'm so her program makes sense, and it did. So I did get started on it, and um, and it's eating healthy. It's not it's not a fad diet. I've noticed that when when I want something, I try to plan it. If I that's a key thing there. If if I want to have a treat or anything like that, I plan it. I fit it in mm -hmm. so that it won't throw me out of whack. And mm -hmm. um, but because before I would just eat it and not care about what it did to my body. Mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. But now I know that the processed foods they drag me down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're good. Oh, they're so <laughs> That's good. That's never the question, is it? Oh, Are they good? They're good. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for that Thanksgiving chocolate <laughs> delight, but I'm going to plan for that. You know, I'm going to fit a serving of chocolate delight at Thanksgiving, right. but I'm going to work and 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 um, and plan what goes in my mouth, and and it makes you think twice before you put things into your mouth. So and, would you say you've changed how you relate oh, to food? Absolutely. How absolutely. you see food? Do you feel deprived? Not at all. Mm -mm. I don't. Oh my gosh, this mm -mm. is so hard. No, in the beginning, my, yeah. I had some hard things, and yeah. I still struggle with that. You're not supposed to eat what three hours before you go to right, bed. Yeah, 
I loved my ice, bowl of ice cream or my bowl of cereal before I went to bed. Yeah. Before I went to sleep, you know. Oh. You but you sleep didn't better. Love, you didn't love. You no, sleep you better. No, you but don't. But yet I can't go to sleep. <laughs> So, you know, one of the things we say, it's the story you're telling yourself that's giving you permission to do things that just don't serve you. Oh, yeah. and peanut butter. Oh, I my know. goodness. Oh, that was mine. That but was mine. I thought something on my stomach would help me sleep better, you know. Yeah. More, but yeah. I didn't sleep. But now, the it has been seven days. It's been a full week now. I haven't taken anything to go to sleep. I'm ready for bed and... I'm gone, and yeah. it, it's the deepest sleep, yeah. and I so good. wake up in the morning not dragging, so I feel like a new me, and um, and I have dropped 20 pounds in the 80 days. I wish you could see her standing up in this little top. I've been looking so, so good. good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, gosh. Yeah, no, not really. No, you do. You do. Oh. You should be proud of yourself. 20 pounds. You know, I've got that fat vest that I let people try on. Oh, I, it I, looks I, like 50 pounds to me. I had somebody pick it up yesterday, and they said 100 pounds. I'm like, no, it's just 20. Oh, but, you imagine. know, yeah. But think about it. Now your body is done with that, and you don't have to tote that around all day. And so it's really... We're looking at 20 more because I'm doing your next challenge. You are. I know you are. I'm and let me say this. The first challenge isn't the cheapest thing, but it's reasonable. You can do it. And it keeps you from backing out of the challenge. There you go. Because and, and people, I do tell people that. If you pay this mm -hmm. money, mm -hmm. then you're going to stick with it. Because it's not like you're paying fifty nine ninety five. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it it's going to cost you it. some money. And you're going to stick with that. That's part of what, anything worth having is worth paying for. And I know clap stuff that I've done, I'm like, okay, if they give me the value that they're charging me, I'm going to rock this thing. And I've, and I've done it. Well, I, I, I've dropped out of so many twenty nine ninety five things. You know? I know I have. I I'm bought so many that. bottles of a lot of this, and I'm like, you know, I know. Good grief! But I, uh, I do feel so much better, and I'm, I'm, right off the bat, I noticed this. I, with the processed food out and the starches and all that, and the ice cream and all that. I started thinking more clear. Yeah. More clear. Yeah, mental clarity. And, and yeah. I was, that brain fog sort of mm -hmm, left mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, I'm quick again. You know, mm -hmm. I could, <laughs> I, I I could come back at Gary like that. There you go. And he deserves it, doesn't he? <laughs> Constant supervision there. I know it. Right. There you go. Yeah. Oh. I, I noticed that too. And, and now what so many of my clients say, and I noticed that too, if they do go off the wagon or step off the reservation, as we call, call it, you know, it's easy to get back on because you know exactly mm -hmm. what to do. You're not mm -hmm. wondering what this or that. You know, mm -hmm. you're an expert. You know what you now. got to do. You're an expert. And I'm, now. I'm very comfortable with it. Yeah. And um, and it's easy. If you, if you really need, you know, good steak and asparagus and what? Yes. Yeah, so oh, good. broccoli. Yeah. Cat oh, love oh, it. Oh, by that the way, I have a chocolate delight a keto one. Okay, I'll do and it. I'm going to share it with you. Okay. I did. I did a pumpkin version yesterday. I don't like pumpkin. Okay, well, you can do chocolate. You I can love get chocolate. You some good organic cacao. I love chocolate, too, but I like pumpkin, too. Oh. So, okay, so we talked about where you were and now where you are. Mm -hmm. And so now we did for the we, next challenge. Okay, and where where do you see yourself in two years from now? What do you what do you think? How, how is this something you can keep doing? Yeah, two years from now, if I look at one of these little Reese's Christmas trees or mm -hmm. at Easter when they have those yeah. Yeah, peanut yeah, butter, those yeah, Reese's yeah. egg. I will think twice because I used to could eat a whole pack of those I things know. and not blink yeah, an eye. Yeah. And um, yeah, but you see it as po you see mm -hmm. that as poison, mm -hmm. and it doesn't mean you can't have one, but it makes you it makes you think a little bit differently. And when you look at that food, you almost see it as comfort until you get this switch in your thinking. And so my slogan is: uh, change your story, change your body, change your life. And it really is about a life change. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you and I are mm -hmm. about the same age. I think I'm a year older. That's right. She's a year older. But do I look at? I... <laughs> okay, I'm so, so, bad. so um, who was I just? I just uh, messaged uh, a friend of mine. I said 29 again. She said no, 28. Oh, <laughs> like Lord. okay. Yeah, just let me get my neck a little, you know, skinny like hers. Well, it's good. gonna, it's gonna. Well, here's what happens <laughs> when you lose. You know, your skin kind of gets all wrinkled up, and then as you clean your body, because mm -hmm. any skin, any any real skin person will tell you it's the inside out. It's mm -hmm. what it's what 
is going in your body that makes your skin clear and, and smooth. And so, yes, you need some good product on the outside, but it's, it's really the inside. I've seen so many of my clients just, I'm like, gosh, you look so much younger, you know. And Deborah, when I walked up a while ago and saw her, I'm like, oh, my gosh, she looks really good. She's not used to seeing me with lipstick on. <laughs> I got my lipstick on today, too. Okay. okay. There was one more thing. One more thing. I was reading okay. on this, and, and it said the um, doing the, the fasting. That's yeah, so important. Yeah, right. Because. Did you think you could do that to start with? Did no. it scare you? Yeah. Uh -huh. I didn't okay. think I could do it. because What, I, I what heard thoughts did you have when I ta started talking about the fasting? You need breakfast. You need lunch. Right. You need dinner. Right. You need snacks. My and thoughts thought, were, I'll get did, a headache. <laughs> my thoughts are, I'll get a headache if I don't eat. Because every time I tried to fast my whole life, I would get a headache. And I'm like, okay, I got to eat, you know. Mm -hmm. But you hadn't had any headache. Nope. hadn't had any trouble. No. Nope. In the very do, beginning, okay. I had to, um, there's a cocktail you can fix yeah, up keto for, cocktail. for mm -hmm. electrolytes mm -hmm. and if you're feeling a little warm you know like yeah. you're wearing down like yeah. in the afternoon yeah. at work yeah. you think right. you need a piece of chocolate right. candy right. or something yeah. you, know, right. yeah. you just need some electrolytes yeah. and yeah. you perk right back up yeah in fact i did that today i was fasting and i thought okay maybe i should go eat before i do these interviews because i got this one and another one at 4 30 and i'm like no i don't need to eat i just need electrolytes so i went over there mm -hmm. put some cream of tartar and a little bit of apple cider vinegar and some water and some mm -hmm. what else is it the salt something anyway yeah that's the keto cocktail and you can just make it up or you can order some mm -hmm. so hey lisa good to see you matthew's on here let's see who else we might see debbie tracy terry Okay. All right. What else you want to say, Deborah? Um, but on the fasting, I did read this, that uh, when you fast, that gives your body time to get rid of those toxins and to repair yeah. those damaged cells. That's what you, it's all yeah, about. I had, yeah. I was, yeah. Well, let me just say this. It takes 12 hours for your body to digest a piece of pizza. They did that on some, a study on some college students. So most people are putting a couple of meals on top of that one piece of pizza. So think about it. Your body is constantly working. So if you can give it a rest with the fasting, and that's what we do. And I've I've never had a client that didn't fast. In fact, Susan just finished 48 hours. I got to interview her this week too. She did a 48 hour fast. I've done a 36. That's there you as, go. That's as long as I've been able to go. <laughs> but no, you could go. I further. could go more. You could but... go further if you didn't have to cook for Gary. Let's bang it on him, right? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, this has been fun. Uh, join me tonight at, at um, I'm not sure what time because I got this, other, but I'm going to be doing an interview, uh, a Facebook Live. I'm going to be demonstrating one of the cooking. One of the recipes, that's what the other thing. We have a lot of recipes yes. mm -hmm. that are available. It's a mm -hmm. Google document of really mm -hmm. clients that have posted good recipes. So Leah Sturdivant has posted a recipe that everybody's trying. So I'm going to cook it tonight, and I'm going to do a talk about stress and, and how stress causes Alzheimer's. So I'm going to give you five tips not want that. on how to get rid of stress. Mm -hmm. Okay, five really easy practical tips. Okay. So join me and thank you, Deborah. Anything else you want to tell this bunch? Um, one, one more thing yeah. with this program, the concentrating on weight is not a big thing. You concentrate on good eating yeah. because I had to hide my scales for a while, and then I got where I can, you know, I can control yeah. not getting I, all those scales yeah, every day yeah, because yeah. it will make you go up and down. And yeah, we so, don't talk about weight mm -hmm. a lot, you know. But because, you plan when you're yeah. going to weigh. Right. And when you weigh, you're like, wow. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, you have to... It's what you focus on grows. And if you're focusing on your weight, then, you know, if it's not moving like you want it to, then that becomes a problem. But if you can just focus on the program, what you get to do, not what you have to do, you get to eat healthy. You get to. Just mm -hmm. like you get mm -hmm. to love Gary. He's your husband. You, you don't have to. You get to. You get to go to church. You get to cook healthy things. It's a, it's a privilege, to be a healthy person. So Deborah has moved from the group of unhealthy people. Mm -hmm. You weren't healthy. Yes. No, I wasn't. Not mm -hmm. sleeping, you know, no. weight, not where she wanted to be, mm -hmm. cholesterol, all those things, to the to a group of healthy people. And so she's in the club now. And I want you to join the club. So message me. I'm getting ready to start a new challenge. Yes, I'm starting it during the holidays. It's the best mm -hmm. time That's, to start. Oh, and, and the Marco Polo where you have that group. Yeah. <gasps> They're, they're it's so it. great. It's a video app oh. where we talk to each other, and you hop on, and you get encouragement. Mm -hmm. So I was just watching a video on the way here, and one of the girls has been off for a month because she had COVID or daddy had COVID, and she said, I miss the Marco Polo app because it's mm -hmm. my support system. Mm -hmm. So it's daily support. 
So what you're, you, you know, you're paying me to coach you, but you're also getting the benefit of what they're learning. And it's so much fun. And I'm ready for the next challenge and it's cheaper. <laughs> yeah, the second challenge is not not nearly. It's the third as much as the other one. So there you go. that's why people keep joining my challenges because mm -hmm. they like the mm -hmm. support. That's right. I mean, think I'm about there. this. I would not be sitting here on this couch with Deborah today had it not that's been right. for the health revival mm -hmm. and so many others. Like Hope Murphy, I just would see her on Facebook a little bit, but I didn't know her. Mm -hmm. She is. She's I become one her. of my dearest friends. She's so good. And she's, then we got um, she's fabulous uh, Miriam that lives over in Talbotton. We got uh, Susan. I didn't know Susan. I mean, so many that I just, I didn't really even know them. But now we're friends. We're buds. We're in this to win it. We're in it to win it as Stacy. Yes. Stacy works at train and she's like, we're, we're in, in it, it to, to win, win it. it. <laughs> and the other thing she says is God can do anything but fail. That's right. All right. So uh, with the help of the Holy Spirit, we're going to do this thing. So I'm so glad so many of you joined. Message me. I'd love to talk to you. And uh, we'll see you soon. Have a great day.